cell phones. They are a huge part of today's society. Little handheld devices that have the power to completely alter society. They consume the lives of every human accessible to technology and the internet. And as technology advances, more and more people are becoming dependent on them to do everyday tasks, such as navigation and communication. Although this technology may be very helpful and efficient, cell phone dependency has its downfalls. Have you ever questioned your quality of sleep? Do you notice yourself not being able to fall asleep as quickly, or it is hard to get a good night's rest? All of this can be caused by our insane amount of cell phone usage. Before bed, staring at your phone screen can be completely harmful to your eyes and brain, which causes sleep deficiencies such as insomnia. Insomnia is the inability to sleep at night. Not only does cell phone dependency affect our sleep, but have you ever noticed the majority of people don't know how to handle awkward situations unless they have their cell phone with them? Or have you noticed how it's unnatural to not stare at your phone while you're in public alone somewhere? Yes, this can be a cause to mental disorders such as anxiety and depression. Cell phones are creating a new world for us, but it's not all rainbows and dandelions. It's also tearing us apart socially. What is the main thing you use your phone for? To communicate with people. Uh, probably social media and communicating with people. Snapchat, like talking to people. Um, the main thing I use my phone for is probably Snapchat or just social media in general. Snapchat. Texting. Um, I stay in contact with my friends through um, texting, Snapchat, and I check social media and listen to music a lot. Do you think cell phone dependency affects our brains? Yes. Probably stupider because, um, I mean, looking at a phone screen and reading weird stuff all day is probably not the best, but... Do you consider yourself dependent of your phone? No, not really. No, because I don't like to be on it really, but I am anyway. Like, you know, when I'm sitting with my friends and stuff, I'm the one who's not on my phone when they kind of are. So it's like a fitting in the crowd type of thing? Yeah, I guess. Uh, yes. Why? Uh, why am I dependent on my phone? Um, it helps me do everything that I'm on it all the time. Very helpful in my life. Yes. Yes. Directionally challenged, I use maps a lot. Probably, because if I lost my phone, I would probably like freak out and be lost without it. I consider myself dependent on my phone. When it dies, I like, am always like constantly like tapping it, like thinking that it'll turn back on. 100% yes. Do you think that cell phone dependency causes significantly higher chances of depression or anxiety? Yeah. If you were to replace your time on social media with a different activity, what would it be? Painting. <laughs> I would study and sleep more. Yes, I would hang out with my friends more, probably play tennis, be yeah. I would spend more time with friends. I want to start reading, <laughs> but that's not working. So, watching TV, I like movies. Um, probably doing like more homework and studying, maybe even reading. Probably hanging out with friends and just being in the moment. I would replace it with sleeping or working out. How often would you say you're on your phone a day? Probably like four hours. An average of like four hours a day, four or five. I think it's like five or six. Probably like three, four hours a day. My phone like tells me and it says I use it six hours per day. Probably seven to eight hours of the day. <laughs> As you can see from this video taken by a group of researchers, there are multiple instances where people are seen running into objects and not paying attention to where they are walking. This is visual proof of how cell phones are consuming our lives and how focused we are on them. This can be harmful. People are dependent on their phone and panic if they don't have it. Dependency is defined as a requirement of something or someone for financial or emotional support. 
Similarly, addiction uses this term to define itself. Addiction is the state of being physically and mentally dependent to a particular substance. <coughs> addiction can sometimes cause adverse effects such as withdrawal symptoms, mood swings, euphoria, agitation, neglection, and much more. A very common effect is eye strain, but companies have come out with glasses called blue light glasses that help prevent your eyes from getting as strained. Strain is pain in the eyes from too much screen time. Neck problems will arise from looking down at your phone all the time. Over 16% of phones contain fecal matter, which can increase illness frequency. Studies show that the radiation from cell phones can penetrate and decrease sperm count in males, especially when placed in their pockets. Cell phone addiction can also lead to depression, anxiety, relationship problems, and insomnia. As you can see with these statistics, the age group that is affected the most with cell phone usage in America are teenagers. On average, over 75% of teens have cell phones, and over 30% of those teens send more than 100 messages per day. Additionally, social networking seems to be the main reason why teens are seen on their phone for many hours of the day. Social media consumes the younger generation. These side effects occur due to an increased amount of GABA in the nervous system. GABA is an amino acid that acts as a neurotransmitter, which limits nerve transmission. This can be bad because an increase of this limits important signals that tell you that you need to sleep or eat or even be happy. This is how negative cell phone addiction can be, and researchers are slowly starting to realize that these negative effects can eventually lead to a shorter lifespan overall. In this video done by National Geographic, they put a fake gorilla in the streets to see if people that were walking on their phones would notice it. Majority of the people didn't even notice their surroundings, which could be scary in real situations going on around them. Technology nowadays consumes all of our lives. We are all conditioned in the 21st century to know how to use technology on a regular basis. As technology continually advances, accessibility to all the products naturally increases. For instance, cell phones are becoming a staple for all Americans. Some would even say most people are dependent on their cell phones for access to better and direct communication and for navigation purposes. But as time goes on, researchers are starting to notice that younger generations are dependent on social media to comfort themselves in awkward social situations. Since so many people are walking and talking on their phones, this could become dangerous. So in this video, they decided to have one line for people on their phones and then the other line for people that aren't on their phones so that nobody gets hurt. For Rachel's screen time, it was much better at 3 hours and 33 minutes as a daily average. Her top two that she spends most time on is Snapchat and using her reminders. This is my screen time. I spend about 6 hours and 26 minutes daily on my phone, which isn't too good, and it's usually just on social media or calling my parents back at home. The average screen time for teenagers is 7 hours and 22 minutes. This does not include time spent using screens for school or homework. Social media plays a big part in our lives, and oftentimes, people find themselves being consumed by it. As you can see, kids are becoming more and more dependent on their phones at earlier ages, and it is even affecting their schooling. Teachers are having a hard time getting students to focus in class because of their phones. 90% of American adults own a cell phone. 67% of phone users look at their phones without hearing notifications. Over 16% of phones contain fecal matter. 46% of Americans admit they cannot live without their phones. How does looking through the social media make you feel? Is it comforting? Studies show even watching someone scroll through media has a calming effect. This can also become an outlet to depend on for happiness. Social media also has effect on our body image. Looking at pictures of famous people are very unrealistic. Cell phone dependency and addiction is a huge wide world problem that has yet to be solved or improved. Will we ever find a way to cease this dependency and become normal interactive humans again?